Hello, I'm Doug. This is a Measurement 101 page cast, three minutes talking about a particular web page on this site. In this case, I'm talking about the measuring while up or down, or equivalently, the Quaternion Gravity page. So there, there are these two supernova, and the reference observer, that's me, goes and says, measures the time and says the time between those two events is five. And the distance between the two is three. So we do the square to find that the interval is 16 and the space times time is 30. And that's our starting point. Hello, I'm Quaternion Gravity Doug in yellow. Everything Kelly Green on this page is about Quaternion Gravity. So it says a Quaternion squared equals the interval and space times time. An invariant space times time is quaternion gravity. But what does that mean? Well, let's focus on that girl floating up above there with those balloons. She's not slowed down by gravity, so her clock is going to tick a little faster. And if she measures the time between those two events with her faster clock, it's going to end up with a larger number. On the other hand, that ruler he's use, she's using <laughs> expands in space and gets larger. And so if she uses that to measure the distance between those two events, it will end up with a smaller number. One number is getting larger, the other is getting smaller. Now, changes in are very precise. In the standard approach to gravity, known as Einstein's general relativity, the bigger dt almost cancels out the smaller dr, but not exactly. In my quaternion gravity proposal, in fact, it's all about the, the larger dt exactly canceling out the smaller space dr. And the result is an invariant space times time of 30 for the person floating above the clouds, exactly equal to what the reference observer got. But what about the interval? Well, that's made up of a larger number minus a smaller number. So minus times a minus is okay. So, uh, so the result is an interval that is actually larger than the reference observer. But what about that guy lying down pointing up at the, the two supernova? Well, he feels the weight of gravity. And so that means his clock is going to tick a little slower. And with that slow clock, he's going to think the, dis the time between uh, the two explosions is less. His meter stick is also a little smaller, <laughs> okay? So his spatial measurement is gonna say, hey, that distance is actually a little larger, okay? But in the quaternion gravity proposal, those exactly cancel out. And so the result is an invariant space times time of 30 exactly equal to what the reference observer gets and exactly equal to the balloon girl floating up above there is. But what about his interval? Okay, his interval is made up <clears throat> of a positive number that's smaller minus a bigger negative number. And that means that the interval is in fact smaller than the, the reference uh, interval and of course smaller than that girl floating above. And that's it for this page cast. Thank you.